गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल दिस इज सारिका पाउशे अंगड़ी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट बेलगावी सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड विद व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय फोर ईयर सीरीज एंड दैट इज फर्स्ट वी लर्न विद द सीरीज डेफिनेशन देन इनफाइनाइट सीरीज फाइनाइट सीरीज देन वी हैड बीन विद व्हाट डू आई मीन बाय पीरियोडिक फंक्शन सो नेक्स्ट इन दिस लेक्चर वील बी स्टडिंग अबाउट ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक सीरीज then we are going to come across fourier series now what do we mean by trigonometric series a periodic function expressed in the form of a series in terms of cosines and sine function is known as trigonometric series now trigonometric means you are going to come across sine and cos so whenever a series is represented in terms of sine and cos such series is going to be said to be as a trigonometric series that is for example f of x equals to a not by 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity an cos nx plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity bn sin nx so this is known as what the trigonometric series so next we are going to come across fourier series now what do i mean by fourier series the trigonometric series as i have defined above okay defined within a desired range of values of variables is said to be a fourier series defined in a desired range of values now i told you uh, in the last uh, video we had gone with interval pi that is 0 to pi and another one was 0 to 2 pi we saw that 0 to pi sine function is becoming what it is a uh, non periodic and in the interval 0 to 2 pi the same sine function is becoming periodic so when we are defining a desired range the series what we get is known as what the trigonometric series which in turn we term it as what fourier series so if i take the interval c less than x less than c plus 2 pi this is known as the interval okay for a given function so in this interval if the function is periodic then the whatever series we are getting is said to be what a fourier series to further compute we should know what is a not an and bn this a not an and bn are known as fourier coefficients so what they are been given as we need to calculate this in the problems so what is a not given by is 1 by pi integral c to c plus 2 pi f of x dx this is the formula to calculate a not similarly to calculate an there is a formula 1 by pi integral c to c plus 2 pi f of x cos nx dx next we are going to go with bn bn formula is 1 by pi integral c to c plus 2 pi f of x sin nx dx so these are the three formula required to find for the fourier series so to further go with this a not an and bn are said to be what fourier coefficients now next i have given one remark here what do i mean by this remark is the constant term in the series is taken as a not by 2 that is here when i am defining for the fourier series here a not by 2 is taken as a constant term okay so for what it is been taken that is so as to make the formula derive for an valid for the particular case n equals to 0 as well as for any positive integer n now here this when you start for n equals to 0 because we are drawing for a wave from 0 here so when it starts from 0 what happens is cos 0 is 1 when i substitute n as equals to 0 so what happens here this will become a not and here 0 into x 0 uh, into n is 0 so cos 0 is 1 then here i am not getting that a not term here there is no problem if i substitute n equals to 0 sin 0 is 0 and this term will get vanished that is for n equals to 0 but to balance for n equals to 0 for this series we are adding this constant a not by 2 so this is what the remark we are using for okay so this is about the series fourier series 
the y we are balancing with a naught by 2 because the series will start with n equals to 0. So next very important concept we are going to come across is what do we mean by Dirichlet conditions. Here we are going to go with some Dirichlet conditions. There are three conditions which we have to satisfy when we find for the Fourier series. So what are Dirichlet conditions? First we will discuss and then we will go with the Fourier series problems. Dirichlet conditions. The conditions under which the expansion of f of x as a trigonometric series converges at every point of continuity is known as Dirichlet condition. This trigonometric series must converge at every point of continuity means the function must be continuous. So such conditions if they are satisfied those conditions are known as what Dirichlet conditions. So I will state what are those. Any function f of x can be developed as a Fourier series provided f of x is periodic as I already told Fourier series if you have to define the function must be first periodic then it must be a single valid and finite in the given interval single valid means it must have one only only one value for that function so it is said to be single valid and finite it must be a finite value it should not be an infinite value in the interval c and c plus 2 pi next Second condition is f of x has a finite number of discontinuities in c comma c plus 2 pi. Now what do I mean by discontinuities? Means the wave should not be discontinuous like this. Like this. It should not, here, here it is being discontinued. So here such waves are taken as now if you see the wave when is drawn. So here there are going to be discontinuities. So, there should be finite number of discontinuities only. So, that time we are going to, then only we are going to go with the Fourier series. Next, f of x has at most a finite number of maxima and minima. Means, the, uh, whatever the function is having, it should have a maxima and minima. This is maxima and this is minima. So this way maximum and minimum points have to be there or else we cannot define. Now can we define here for the Fourier series? No. So such a series has to have uh, these three conditions to get satisfied. The first condition is the function must be periodic. It must be single valid and it must be finite in the interval c comma c plus 2 pi. The second one is it should have finite number of discontinuities and the third one is it should have finite number of maxima and minima in the given interval. If these all three conditions are satisfied those are the Dirichlet's conditions then the trigonometric series is said to be Fourier series of period 2 pi and a0, an, bn are called Fourier coefficients. So I will state here one remark which is going to help you all during the problems. I will not explain now this during the problems I will be explaining. Remark is if f of x is discontinuous at x then the series converges to 1 by 2 f of x plus plus f of x minus where f of x plus is the left hand, right hand limit and f of x minus is left hand limit. This remark you will come to know when I am talking for the problems. So only just understand this remark and keep. Okay. So to continue with the Fourier series we have to know one rule which is very important rule. That is Bernoulli's generalized rule of a uh, rule of integration by parts. So this is going to help us to integrate the functions which are product of two functions. So how it has been stated? It has been stated as u into integration of v minus u dash into double integration of v plus u double dash into triple integration of v and so on. Now I am denoting this integration of v that is single integration of v as v1 
u dash means the first derivative double integration of v l denote it as v2 plus u double dash means second derivative of u triple integration of v means i'll denote it as v3 and so on here u dash u double dash u triple dash are successive derivatives of u v1 v2 v3 are successive integrals of v so with the help of this i am going to show two examples how to apply for bernoulli's rule which are very important as per the problems related now to apply for bernoulli's rule you have been given a function integral x e raised to 3x dx sign between these two is into so i'll be applying u into v rule so which u into v rule it is already you'll have gone with integration by parts the same it is but the integration part uh, integration by parts will be lengthy when i apply over here so i'll apply bernoulli's rule which will be very convenient for us to solve now how we are applying is now you have to choose for u and v out of these two functions now how to choose u and v the same procedure as you have learnt in the uh, integration by parts the first function will be chosen by the rule i let i let i you know i is inverse l is logarithmic a is algebraic t is trigonometric and e is exponential so x is a algebraic function so u is your x and v is the e raised to 3x now to apply i will substitute here x e raised to 3x u is x v1 means single integration of e raised to 3x minus u dash means the derivative of this u that is x is 1 v2 means double integration of e raised to 3x i have to stop the procedure because derivative of the first function has become constant you should not proceed with the next because next derivative is going to be zero so to stop here uh, you have to stop here and then go with the further step x you keep it as it is we know integration of e raised to x as e raised to x upon a so integration of e raised to 3x is e raised to 3x upon 3 minus 1 is vanished one integration i know what is one integration of e raised to 3x it is e raised to 3x upon 3 keep one integration as it is this is free from integral sign so write it as it is this 1 by 3 is acting as a constant bring outside the integral sign so this is 1 by 3 integration of e raised to 3x x e raised to 3x upon 3 as it is 1 by 3 as it is integration of e raised to 3x is e raised to 3x upon 3 that is e raised to 3x upon 9 so this is the product of integration by bernoulli's rule similarly when i talk for the next function that is x plus x square into cos nx dx again this whole function i'll treat as the first function that is algebraic function so i'll treat this as u and this as v applying for bernoulli's rule u into integration of v minus derivative of u here plus sign is there so differentiate it separately derivative of x is 1 derivative of x square is 2x so 1 plus 2x put it in the bracket double integration of second function that is cos nx still i have to continue because still the derivative has not become constant so derivative of 1 is 0 Two is acting as a constant since it is into right two as it is. Derivative of x with respect to x is one. One into two is two, and triple integration of cos nx. Now, continuing for further here, x plus x square. Write it as it is. We know that integration of cos is sine. That is cos ax is sine ax upon a. Now in place of a it is n. So sin nx upon n minus 1 plus 2x keep it as it is one integral of cos nx is sin nx upon n and one integral will remain as it is 0 plus 2 is 2 one integral of cos nx is sin nx upon n double integration will remain this has become free from integral sign so write it as it is 1 plus 
टू एक्स दिस एन यू ब्रिंग इट आउटसाइड द इंटीग्रल साइन सो वन प्लस टू एक्स अपॉन एन एज इट इज रिमेन्स द फंक्शन टू बी इंटीग्रेटेड इज साइन एन एक्स एंड इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन इज माइनस कॉस सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन एन एक्स विल बिकम माइनस कॉस एन एक्स अपॉन एन प्लस ब्रिंग दिस एन आउट बिकॉज इट इज एक्टिंग एज अ कॉन्स्टेंट टू बाई एन एज इट इज वन इंटीग्रल साइन एज इट इज वन इंटीग्रल ऑफ साइन एन एक्स इज माइनस कॉस एन एक्स अपॉन एन एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर साइन एन एक्स अपॉन एन एज इट इज माइनस इंटू माइनस यू राइट इट एज प्लस वन प्लस टू एक्स इंटू कॉस एन एक्स अपॉन एन स्क्वायर प्लस इंटू माइनस इज माइनस दिस एन विल कम आउट सो टू अपॉन एन स्क्वायर वन मोर इंटीग्रल साइन इज रिमेनिंग सो इंटीग्रेट कॉस एन एक्स इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस एन एक्स इज साइन एन एक्स अपॉन एन सो दिस इज देन सिंप्लीफाई एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर साइन एन एक्स अपॉन एन वन प्लस टू एक्स इंटू कॉस एन एक्स अपॉन एन स्क्वायर माइनस इंटू प्लस इज माइनस टू साइन एन एक्स अपॉन एन क्यूब सो दिस इज वॉट द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू फंक्शन बाय बर्नॉल इज रूल this way we are going to make use in the problems so in the next class we will be seeing how to solve the problems of fourier series thank you